the development of Iraqi art has been interrupted, uh, like our lives, interrupted by wars, by sanctions, by dictatorship, all these various uh, elements. But as with the exhibition is really presenting as samples of works by Iraqi artists specifically produced under the occupation, I would like to, to touch on, the, uh, on that. Uh, well, the, we had in the, pre <coughs> in the previous regime a Ministry of Culture and Information, which been abolished immediately after the occupation. Uh, it used to have without, it's kind of a job, bureaucratic job. Whenever there was an exhibition in Baghdad uh, by a major artist or any art collection or anything, they used to pick, to buy two, two paintings, two sculptures, and add it to the collections of one of the palaces of Saddam's or one of the galleries, the main uh, collection. In a way, it was good for the artist, in a way. I mean, let's look at it. Uh, so, but after the occupation, <coughs> now we have there is a Ministry of Culture. The information we pushed aside, but the structure of the ministry is the same. Uh, immediately, in the subsequent to the invasion, uh, you saw and you know about the looting of the museum. Uh, that, I mean, there there are records of what we have at. Uh, the Iraqi museum and various museums. Sadly, about the paintings, we don't have good records about what they are. In, in uh, like Saddam Center for Modern Art, uh, it was looted, all of it. Uh, there were 7,000 uh, works. Uh, some of them were stolen, others were burnt, uh, just uh, demolished. Until now, uh, we manage only to retrieve something like uh, 1,200 works. Uh, the rest disappeared totally. Uh, this collection represented the entire history of modern Iraqi art, uh, with works from the latter years of the 19th century until 2003, which really considered is a culture of genocide. I cannot find any other uh, word or a term to describe what's happened. Uh, so work by our prominent artists, rare works of art, many drawings and all, totally uh, destroyed. Can art be a form of resistance under occupation? Well, I, I'll deal with two examples. The first one is in the aftermath of Abu Ghraib uh, prison scandal, the torture, the humiliation of Iraqi Iraqis there in detention. Uh, a group of 25 artists organized uh, within one month an exhibition, and it was spontaneous, angry feelings. They 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 just wanted to express their anger uh, to show that it is in art we show dignity. Uh, so it was very very powerful. Uh, exhibition and a couple of the artworks produced for the exhibition I can see and I consider as classic art of resisting against occupation. Some of them of course was highly emotional and thing, but a couple of them were extremely and the important thing it was they wanted to, to show what, how they felt at that time. And um, the second person who I asked is Rafa and Nasri again one of our prominent artists who is staying now staying, he left Iraq, he's staying in Amman at the moment. And uh, he is an artist known as on international level. Uh, and his work is deeply influenced by the culture of Arabic script. Uh, answering like, can art be a form of resistance? He said, yes. Well, there is. I'm, I'm quoting him, I'm reading his answer. There is a deadly darkness at the moment in Iraq. Perhaps art can bring light into this darkness. We only have one means to offer resistance in this tragedy, and that is our creativity. Even if we are surrounded by death and horror, we can put these experiences into our art and try to find an expression for the suffering. 
using art to help strengthen the Iraqi identity, to give our best, to stay on the international level, that is the only true resistance for me. Thank you very much.